This book is fire, y'all. If you are not familiar with lectures on fash, TikTok doesn't like that word, sorry, by Palmiro Togliati, please check out my last video on this book. All right, catch up. Speaking to defining what fash is, Togliati says, but the movement of the masses isn't the same in every country. Not even the dictatorship is the same in every country. This is why I must forewarn you of an error that is easily made. Do not think that what is true for Italy must be true, must hold for every other country. Fash can take different forms in different countries. The masses of different countries have different forms of organization too. And we must also bear in mind the period of which we are speaking. Fash assumes different aspects at different times in the same country. Hence, we must consider two elements. And to find out the rest, you either have to stay tuned or get this book for yourself. And I recommend that you do both. Well, let's check out the other point real quick. My kid looks just like me, don't they? Okay, so back to Togliari. He basically says here that you can't know what fash is if you don't know what imperialism is. So also pick up Lenin's book on imperialism if you can, or go on to the internet and read it for free. Togliati says, these are the features of imperialism. Based on them, there is a tendency of all the bourgeoisie's political institutions to undergo a reactionary transformation. This, too, you will find in Lenin. There is a tendency to make these institutions reactionary, and this tendency appears in its most coherent forms with fash. Why? Because given the class relations and the capitalists need to safeguard their profits, the bourgeoisie must find forms with which to exert heavy pressure on the workers. Furthermore, the monopolies, that is to say the bourgeoisie's leading forces, reach their highest degree of concentration, and the old forms of rule become impediments to their expansion. The bourgeoisie must turn against what itself created, because what was once a factor of its development today has become an obstacle to the preservation of capitalist society. This is why the bourgeoisie must turn reactionary and resort to fash. This, end quote is why we get to the Adolfs and the Mussolinis, et cetera, et cetera. Please, please read this if you can. Solidarity.